prices are about to go through the roof as almost all the major providers announce hikes. But why are we paying more for our gas and electricity and is there anything we can do to stop this? Four of the big six energy providers are hiking their prices and these will be implemented over the winter months. Scottish and Southern Energy was the first to announce a hike of 9% which has already come into effect and British Gas is to push prices up by 6% adding an extra £80 onto bills from the 16th of November. The rise from NPower will add 9.1% to gas bills and 8.8% to electricity bills from the 26th of November, while Scottish Power customers will see a hike of 7% from the 3rd of December. The rise has been blamed on increases in the wholesale gas market and also the cost of government energy efficiency programmes. But even if prices are going up in the wholesale market, many companies, such as British Gas, have made huge profits in the last year. So why are they getting away with it? If you spoke to some of the company bosses last week, they would say it's a combination of wholesale prices and also um, many government obligations. Um, the first thing that everyone should do is um, to see if they're on the best deal. Um, have a look at what you're paying at the moment and you can speak to your current energy supplier, see if there's a better deal for you that they can offer or go to a price comparison site and um, see what other companies can offer. There's not only the big six energy companies, there's about 10 very small energy companies. We have a private energy market in this country and energy prices aren't regulated by the government. Um, Ofgem, the regulator, does have a duty to make sure the, the market is working, that it's fair and it's competitive, um, but their business is just like any others and if they think they've incurred higher costs, they are entitled to pass them on to their customers. To combat the rises, and in an attempt to make the energy market more competitive, David Cameron has suggested that energy companies should be forced to give customers the cheapest tariff available. They will also need to let existing customers know if they should be on a cheaper tariff. These changes are all part of the energy bill, which is due out next month. It's very small on detail at the moment, so it would be interesting to see exactly what this might entail, but we're very much in favour of greater information for consumers so they can access a cheaper deal. Uh, it's extortionate now, the prices have gone up and it's not affordable, so we have to compensate with like hot water bottles and blankets and lots of clothing. I don't think that's fair for the customer um, and I think that we're being ripped off as customers. Well I know mine's just gone up 9% so with Scottish Power so not happy at all. I think we're stuck with it really, I don't think there's anything we can do. Um, the government have been very very slow in implementing any policies to make it easier so um, no, 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 I think we're stuck with it. Switching suppliers, turning down the thermostat or putting on an extra jumper are all ways to cut down your energy costs. But while we're struggling to pay, the energy companies are rolling in profit and not giving the best deal to customers. Music